Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the transmission fluid on a 2021 Kia Seltos. Um, let's change the angle here. There we go. Okay, so the parts we need um, to start off with is uh, we need to take off this uh, undercover right over here. It's got a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts and then some plastic clips. So take off plastic clips, flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket. The fluid that we're gonna be using today is Redline MTLV. Um, sorry, I've got a cold right now. Um, but what Kia calls for is a 70W GL4 uh, gear oil for the transmission. And it gives a few examples in there. Um, but they were tough. I, I couldn't find them online. I don't know if maybe in other countries you can find them, but I couldn't find them here in the U.S. So I went ahead and went on to Redline's uh, website, and they showed that this is compatible with it. Um, so in order to replace it, you want to replace your little plug gasket. So we've got those right here. There's two of them. They're aluminum crush washers. This is the part number, 21513. 11,000 um, and there's actually another part number but these work uh, and then we're going to use um, our fluid pump to get it up in there so let's show you these things here you can probably see it 10 millimeter socket right over there and then those are the plastic clips and there's a bunch of them all around so I will go ahead and get those things off and then I'll show you how everything looks from there. Okay, so undercover is off. And there, of course, is your transmission. This is, um, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. This Kia is equipped with that seven speed dual clutch transmission. Um, this is uh, the 1.6 turbo model. So if you've got the DCT, this is the, this is how you go about doing this. Um, you've got a bunch of plugs here. Um, I've seen people do different things with them. Um, let me show you what's what. First, starting off is you have the drain plug. Oh, there we go, right here, this big guy right there. Um, you can see on the side, there's the axle coming out. And then you see that bolt right in there. Uh, that guy right there that is one of the fill plugs um, it's one of them there's more than just that but I'll tell you right now that guy is almost impossible to get to you can kind of see it in there yeah way back in there um, yeah way back there um, but there's like you can barely even get your fingers in there and on the other this opposite side there's like no room to get in there whatsoever so if you really want to get in there you kind of got to take off um, the subframe which is a ton of work and it's not necessary so normally for the process of draining and filling it's just like a manual transmission because that's what this is it's a manual transmission that has these little like actuator solenoid things or whatever to change gears for you um, so normally on a manual tranny, you got to make sure that the car is level, drain it all out, and then fill it back up until the fill level reaches, uh, start spilling out of the fill hole. Um, you can definitely do that with this if you're able to access that bolt. Um, but like I said, on this model specifically, that's a lot of work. So instead, what you can do is you can drain it like we're going to do. Um, and then you can fill it. There are a couple different bolts you can use to fill up, fill it with besides that one. You can actually use this one. I don't think this is really designed to be a filling bolt though. Um, that bolt that goes in there, it's really long and I think it actually holds on some of, um, some something inside of there, some part of the shifter assembly or something in there. Um, I don't, I really don't think it's designed to be a fill bolt. Um, this one, on the other hand, does work as a fill bolt. I mean, well, well, like I said, they both do. But this one's actually a little bit easier to get to. It's actually a little easier to fill it with. But um, I don't think it's exactly level with uh, the proper fill bolt 
all the way back there. So in other words, if you have the car totally level and then you fill it up to the specifications, I don't think that fluid's gonna be spilling out. I think I was reading on some other uh, Kia and Hyundai forums that they were getting at least a half a quart more than what's recommended. Um, if they were had it on a level surface and they filled it up with this until it started spilling out. So, um, we, so I mean, e each car is a little different with this transmission, apparently. Um, a lot of the Veloster forums are saying it's two quarts. Um, according to Kia for this model, it is between 1.7 and 1.8 quarts to fill it. So, um, that said, um, I'm just going to fill it with two quarts because that'll be close enough. Um, just having it a little bit above and other models are saying two quarts is the way to go. So we're going to go with two quarts. Um, so first things first, when I, um, whenever you're filling either differentials or transmissions or whatever, you actually want to take off the fill plug first and then the drain plug. And the reason why is just in case if you drain it all out and then for whatever reason that fill plug is just too hard um, to undo or if you have any problems, you want to be able to refill it. So it's a good idea to take that off first. Um, so let me show you what parts you need for this. Okay, so to remove this guy, you need an eight millimeter Allen. That fits right up in there perfectly like that. Okay. And then for the drain, you need a 22 millimeter socket or equivalent. Um, I can even get it in there. Oh no, it's not a 22. It's a 24. Sorry, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why I pulled that up, but you want a 24. That is the size. It goes in there. There you go. Perfect. You can see right there. Okay. All right, so let's get that fill bolt out first. <clears throat> so right now I just have the car on ramps because I already know how much fluid I'm going to put in there so it doesn't have to be perfectly level. And since it's not perfectly level, we don't really have to worry about it draining out. Even if it was, like I said before, it wouldn't be draining out anyways. Because this isn't exactly the correct fill bolt. But it sure looks like it. I mean, if I made a fill bolt, it would look like that. So there's that. And we're going to replace that washer, of course. You can kind of see up in there, maybe. That's the differential behind it, the front differential. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get that drain bolt undone. But first, I'm going to put uh, my drain pan there. four millimeter socket get this guy going here there you go all right here comes that fluid So we're going to clean these guys up right here. Okay, so these guys are ready to go back on. So we're going to put the drain washer back on first. <clears throat> and 
and the drain washer. Um, the torque value you want to do on this, there's a range, and this seems to be the case with most Hyundai and Kia products. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it's 43 pound feet, or foot pounds, sorry, to 57. Anywhere within that range, you're good. So we're going to do it right at 50. Um, let me get my torque wrench. Okay, so first things first, let's wipe this guy down. Feel that crush washer kind of crushing. There we go. Do it one more time. Yep, okay. We are officially at 50 pound feet, or at least as close as this torque wrench can get to that. All right, now the next step is to fill it. So I'm going to get those bottles ready. Okay. I'm going to show you another shot of these red wine bottles. So there we are, got them both open, a quarter piece. There's this, I put the longest little extension thing on there. And then we just slide it in like that. Certain bottles it'll thread down, but these ones it doesn't. Not a big deal. So we've got two quarts, and we're going to put all of it in there, at least as much as we can. And since this car's on ramps, we should definitely be able to get all of that in there. <clears throat> with no problem. Let's see. Get this up a little bit. There you go. Okay. So, um, like I said before, there's kind of like a... It, well, I mean, I don't know if it's the differential, but there's, there's some hardware inside that kind of blocks the hole, so you can't really stick your finger all the way inside of it. You kind of can. Um, so to fit this little tube in there, you kind of got to squish it just a little bit. It's not too bad though. I'm saying it's not too bad and obviously I'm struggling. Just do the best you can. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We got it. Okay. And then you just start pumping. Let's see if you can see this thing. Yep. You start going until it catches. There you go. Now it's pumping fluid in. Oh, there's that guy right there. Okay. So these pumps don't pump a whole lot with every pump. So you got to pump it a lot. Just double check and make sure it's nice and clean. You don't want any grit or grime in between the washer and the bolt and the sealing surface. You want it all nice and clean. Okay. And then according to the manual online that I found that basically everybody has access to, again it's the same torque specs as the drain bolt. Um, this guy's between 43 and 57 foot pounds. So we're just going to go right in the middle again and just go for 50. Um, but obviously, we need to have the correct thing right here.
There you go. Double check. Perfect. Okay. Clean off every little bit right there. And that's it. Easy peasy. Just like a manual transmission. At least the, the process of training and refit is basically the same. So if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, go ahead and just put it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.